How was it? Oh, Lord, where do I start? I'm happy to be out of there. That house is absolutely draining and crazy and full of fruitcakes. But I love them all. Did you enjoy it? Of course I did. <laughs> um, you say that, but in tonight's show, you said you wanted to walk. Oh, did I? Uh, the show that we oh, watched. Oh, that was yesterday. So tonight, what we've watched. Yeah. Uh, which was yesterday. Yeah, yeah. You tried to get out the, the, the back door. <laughs> Why? I was so dramatic. Babe, I hadn't had any sleep. I was being so dramatic. I was absolutely drained. I thought Mark was going to absolutely abuse me, and I just thought, I didn't sign up for this. I signed up to coming into the house, trying to get some positivity back in there, make the vibes mm. happy, and it was just felt so dark, and I was absolutely... If you mess with me when I hadn't had any sleep, Emma, I'm not a nice girl. And I just wanted to go and go to sleep. <laughs> Did you have sleep last night? Yes. Oh, OK, we can mess with that then. Wonderful. Lots of it. Um, you did say that you wanted to go in there and make everyone happy. Do you think you did that? Well, they tell me that I did it, so... Yeah, I think I did. So you're happy with your time? I'm absolutely happy. If I left a few days earlier, I wouldn't have been. I would have felt defeated, but I left today and I feel like I left on a positive vibe. OK, somebody who, who didn't seem happy to see you was Helen. <laughs> um, now, to be honest, I, and I think I can speak for a lot of people, I think we expected fireworks from the two of you, but that never really happened. I'm sorry, but I don't... What, I, what, ha, why? Why? Because I it... don't dance with the devil. Like, she's so beneath me. I said what I needed to say, Emma. I'm not going to lower myself to the spawn of Satan. Um... I, and I've done what I needed to do, and I'm not, I'm not going to be a trashy b just because she is. How did you feel on Friday when she left? <laughs> Over the moon. Like, literally, I've never been around someone with such a negative energy and dark soul that just brings everyone else down. It is horrific. She is the ice witch. Seriously, I'm not just saying it because she said things about my mum and whatever. She's vile. Absolutely vile. You said then that you, she kind of brings everyone down. Do yes. You, did, were the other housemates relieved when she went? I know oh Mark wasn't, God. obviously, because they were friends, but... Yeah, well, Mark's just confused, but... Literally, everyone was like, uh, oh, thank God, oh, thank God she's gone. But I, I refuse to talk about her anymore, because this is my time. OK, well, let's talk... <laughs> let's, um... <laughs> let's talk about Mark instead. Yes. Um, a lot has happened between the two of you, but let's go back to the beginning. What were your thoughts of him when you first got there? When I first got there, I fell in love with him as a friend. Like he you was... were quite flirty with him as well. Oh, I flirt with everyone, Emma. No, I know, but I flirted I mean... with you. Like yeah, all let's the time. Be real. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was because I was just finding my feet, and that's the way I meet people. I'm yeah. quite flirtatious. He's got a lovely body. Um, he's from he's from Dublin, uh, where my family are from. Like yeah. I've got a lot of family there, and my family are from Limerick, and I liked him. You did have a very up-and-down relationship, though. Absolutely. Why, why is that? What is it about Mark that makes that happen? He's so confusing. I can't work him out. He's got about 18 sides to him. He even said it himself. He's like, he's got Mark with a C, Mark with a K, Mark with a Q. He's got so many different personalities. But in the end, we just got each other because we're probably both the same, to be fair. You did say in the diary room that you thought he was playing a game. Yeah, I did, but I don't know if someone can be that calculated for that long. But where is a scientist whose brain is very astute and very clever and very bright and he can think things through so me methodically? Method methodically, method methodically. Yeah. And he can, he can. Like, he even told me, like, I was sitting there looking at you thinking, right, I'm going to say this to her, that to her, that to her. You think I do that? I haven't got the brain space to do that. Like, well, I don't understand how he can do that. He is a very bright boy, isn't he? Yeah. And he knows how to row, he knows how to plant a seed. Well, this is how it looks. Yeah. Um, you, it looked like, just go with your gut and mm. you just spill everything out that's in your <laughs> mind at that point. We saw you have an almighty row um, during the Hotel BB task. Um, why did you let him get under your skin if you knew that's what he was trying to do? Because you, you literally let rip, and it looked like you let rip out of nowhere. OK, well, because Charlie was saying to me, oh, he's just said this and that about you, but I know she talks so fast, maybe the cameras didn't pick it up, but she was like, babe, he's just said this and that about us. So I was like, right, well, I'm not having that. So mm. I went and stuck up for myself. I just had it with him. I knew that 
he'd got me before with my mum and I had a bee in my bonnet about that and every time I looked up from sunbathing, I'd see this. <laughs> Man was just looking at me every minute like, seriously, I swear to God. And he actually admitted it to me yesterday that he was just looking at me thinking, he was like, he's looking at you because I was trying to think of something nasty to say to you. <laughs> So, uh, what am I going to do? Uh, we did see you make up, though, as well. You know, yeah. kind of draw a line in it. Let's, yeah. When you had the party, let's kind of have a truce for this evening. How much of a relief was that for you? Because it, 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 you could see, like, he was just getting to you so much. Oh, my God, it was the biggest relief. I felt like all my Christmases had come at once. Honestly, it was the best feeling in the world. I don't like to live in a house where there's contention and, and bad vibes and negative energy and I just felt so relieved like a weight had been lifted and obviously people had their problems with it and said it's fake and it's what he does but I didn't even care if it was fake at that point I just wanted peace in the house okay we've got to talk about Danny what's Who? going on <laughs> what's going on nothing he's just my friend yeah but you did say you fancied him no I didn't yeah you did <laughs> what you totally what? did. I was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, and you said that you've been watching at home before you went in. So yeah. did you like what you saw? Then? I absolutely loved Danny as a person. Like he was so, so powerful as a housemate. Do you still have that opinion of him now? Because yeah. it did seem like um, uh, there was that whole thing with Jack when he said, "Oh, it's just banter," and then and then he <laughs> and then Danny said, "No, I didn't say that." He gave you a little kiss on the lips. And then you walked out of the storeroom and then you spent the night in bed together and then it was like nothing happened after that. Do you feel like he saw you as an opportunity? No, but Mark said that he did, so I don't know. I have no idea. I just took him as, as at face value and he's a really nice guy that seems to stick up for everyone, so... Mm. And I enjoyed his company and we had a little cuddle and that was it. We never kissed. <laughs> Who would you like to win? <laughs> All of them. Can they all have all the money <laughs> no. spread out between all of them? I can't call it. I really do like Sam, though. I love Sam, if I'm honest. And Chloe. Sam and Chloe are my favourites. It was great to have you back again. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you for having me. <laughs>